FL Studio has always had click on strum right from the piano roll. In Ableton, you can't do that. So I'm gonna load up a MIDI file from Drums at Knock 9. If you look at this MIDI, it's not strummed, it's right on the grid. What you wanna do is put an arpeggiator on the track. Arpeggiator device in Ableton and add it before your instrument. It's gonna do the ARP thing. What you wanna do is turn off sync so it's in free and you wanna set repeats from infinite to one. Okay, so it does that. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna take the note length device in Ableton and you wanna add it right after the arpeggiator. When you play with the length knob on the note length device, and you play with the rate on the arpeggiator device, check it out. That's a makeshift strum feature in Ableton. It's not perfect. You're gonna have to adjust the length every time. There might be circumstances where some chords are shorter than others and they might overlap. So you might just have to automate the length. But for the most part, I find that's a quick way to do strums in Ableton. It's gonna control how long the strum goes on for with the chord. And if you turn it all the way down, not gonna really strum. Another trick, just group these, hold down shift and select them and hit command G. And then you can map the rate and the length to macros one and two. In Ableton 11, you could make it so it's just those two macros. So we'll call this strum and we'll just keep that time length. So now you have two knobs to control your strum, and then you can save this. Anytime you wanna add this device, you can just search for it and add it. Been wanting Ableton to add stock, it's something that we need. Yeah.